Hi everyone, Sat here. It's been a while since I did any tutorials. Thanks for being so patient. I really appreciate it. Hello to all the new people who have subscribed. Thank you to everyone who's been liking and commenting. I appreciate that a lot. Um, so in this tutorial, we're gonna go over 2019, Unity 2019 and AR Foundation 2.0 and integrating those two together. I'm gonna talk about two bugs and issues that I, I came about I, that affected me. Uh, one of those I figured out um, just by trial and er error and the other one I worked out by actually looking at um, the a previous video that I made which is about the AR Foundation black screen bug uh, that you can see here and I looked at the a comment that came up um, and that comment was this one here. Uh, I'm gonna. I hope I don't butcher your name. Valeria, Valera. I hope. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name. Uh, Segovic. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. But you did this comment about um, it started to work for you once you downloaded the AR call by Google app from the Play Store. Now I already had that, but it did. It did. Um, it did kind of trigger something in my head, and I thought, hang on a second have I updated it lately? Now, I, I don't know if I'm if you're like me, but I actually don't have automatic updates on my Google Play Store. It's just find it a bit annoying. It usually happens at the worst possible time. It slows down my phone. But I went into my Play Store and I realized that I hadn't updated that app, AR Call for, uh, AR Call for Google. So if you have an Android app and you're having issues, like the black screen, like it not telling you if you have um, camera pres pres um, permissions on or off, uh, like it doesn't ask you at the start, it might be because you haven't updated that. Um, so that worked for me. Once I updated a the AR Core app from Google Play Store, it worked. So try that. And thank you to everyone else who's been sharing their problems and their solutions to this, uh, to this one, um, because I think it's affecting everyone. It affected me as well. And now I managed to get past it thanks to you guys. Uh, so I appreciate that. Uh, the second problem that I had was uh, usually I would download the um, zip file from the Unity R Foundation samples page and uh, open that up in my uh, Unity um, in my Unity version. But now we've got in 2019 Unity Hub comes as standard. So um, what I would do before is I would download it and then I would hit add um, or well, I, would, I wouldn't really do it, but now this is what I would, if I was adding a normal uh, a normal uh, project, I would hit add here like this, download, so I just downloaded it, uh, AI Foundation Samples, hit add and hit open, right? Pretty simple. And then it would appear here at the top, but it's not doing that now. And I think the reason why is because it's there's a conflict between the project settings and like the, um, the, the AR Foundation project settings, the sample data here that I'm downloading from that project and the existing ones, since I've already downloaded an older AR Foundation sample, so it doesn't want to overwrite it. I think it's that, I'm not 100% sure, but there's a workaround. So if you're having that issue as well and you want to get the latest sample project here, uh, which you're probably going to be doing if you're following along with me, then I'm going to show you how I did that. So first of all, obviously download it. Uh, this unzip it to a place on your machine uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to hit new and you're going to create a new project as you ordinarily would do so give it a project name and select the folder and hit create so I'm going to call this AR samples tutorial and we'll make sure I know where I saved it. There we go, AR Foundation, and I hit Create, and I'll make sure it's a 3D project as well. Okay, so that's finished loading. So we have a, a blank project now that we've just created. There's nothing in it. It's a regular Unity pro 3D project. Project. That's it, nothing else, right? So I'm looking at it now, and we can see we've got our assets folder here, our sample scene, nothing else in there, bog standard. And actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna now just close it. That's it, nothing else. We're just gonna sh just close it. And I'm closing it now because we're actually gonna overwrite some stuff. And when you overwrite stuff, if you've got it open, it can cause some issues, right? So we before we downloaded that AR Foundation Sample Master, and we're gonna actually just copy everything in here uh, like this. And then we're gonna go to that sample tutorial that we just created. 
and then we're going to paste the six items in there and we're going to make sure we hit apply to all and we're going to replace everything so let's just hit replace and then wait for that to finish once that's done we're going to see the original ar samples tutorial project at the top that we we had um, except we've now changed some of those project folders so if we click that now and let that load and when that's done and we can look at the projects tab and we'll see that we've got all those sample folders in there as well as well as all the scenes so now we've got all the 2019 stuff and in our hub we have got our project at the top as well opened up all right so let's have a look at unity ar foundation 2.0 and let's take a look at the some of the new stuff they've got uh, in fact let's take a look at the image tracking sample scene uh, which I've been waiting for for a long long time so I'm really happy that they've got it in here and most importantly they have a sample scene so we know it should work and we can have a play around and build it straight onto our phone so we can see here that we have on our AR session origin we have the regular AR session origin uh, but we also have an AR tracked image manager so this is um, this is going to be looking at something called a reference library so if we click on this reference library asset um, ah here we go we get um, some of the items the images that it's looking for um, with the tracking the image tracking so we have some flowers here we have the unity symbol and we have this QR code and we can see that here that's in the image tracking image images folder um, so we know if we point our camera at any of these images when the phone is running we should be able to or something should happen we don't know what exactly yet because we haven't checked the code and we could add other images as well and actually we have as part of this tracked image manager we also have tracked image prefab uh, so let's click on this so I believe what's going to probably happen and I'm just going to throw a guess out here is if I open that prefab up ah, okay so this is probably going to appear on the image we've got the plane, plane parent the plane itself um, which is probably going to be is it maybe going to be see-through checkered and we have a canvas with some text on it let's have a look here I mean the best thing to do is run it and then we'll be able to kind of figure out what's happening afterwards but it's always nice to have some look at it uh, I'm guessing some of the data about that is going to be on there uh, so it should be interesting to see um, and then we have the tracked image info manager and so I th I'm guessing when we point at it it will give us information about the about the image and then place it on the actual image itself on the on that image prefab but it's best to run it and have a look so let's just let's just go ahead and do that now and just see what it does let's go to build set settings and uh, a few things we want to do here now we're looking at the image tracking uh, scene so the first thing we want to do is change to image tracking select that i'm also going to go to player settings and I'm going to make sure that we've got um, a few things selected here or showing. Um, I'm going to make sure we've got the, where is it, bundle identifier. I'm going to change that because usually the default one doesn't work. So I'm going to just change that to my name and then I'm going to also just change it to AR samples tutorial and that should be enough I believe all the other settings should have automatically been done based off of uh, us um, overwriting those project settings when we pull the folders in originally so let's just go to Android now since this is going to be an Android build 
and let's hit switch platform and then we can build it to build and run it onto the phone okay so what I've done is I have now got AR foundation on my phone um, and I'm pointing my phone at my computer screen and you can see uh, that on my computer screen I've got that image from the images folder I've got that up now and we can see when I point at my sc at my screen it has that um, the little prefab that we looked at it has information about the tract uh, stuff like the detected size and so on and that's been put placed on top of the original image you can just kind of see it behind there maybe even if I there you go if I kind of move it around shift it around and lose focus slightly um, so we can see that it works which is great it looks a little jittery um, but that might be also because I'm pointing at a computer screen maybe there's a bit of refresh frame rate stuff going on there um, still need to check this out on an actual uh, a non-computer screen and see how that looks but this is still a really good start and it's something for us to work on and maybe we can look at this a little bit further a little bit more in a future tutorial but um, I hope this helps you get started with AR foundation in 2019 and with image tracking and there's a whole bunch of other things in here uh, inside of unity now stuff like face facial recognition recognition and object recognition um, so check that out as well and um, yeah please leave a like a comment make sure you're subscribed if you're not and i'll see you in the next tutorial